Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. In my prayer time this morning, I asked Yeshua what he would say to all the people who are weary of this life, people who are discouraged and disappointed at how their lives have turned out, or how things have been going the last couple of years, to those who are confused and hurting, lonely and distracted by so many of the trials of this life, lukewarm at the warnings that have been coming from his many watchmen for some time now. He has this to say. I speak to you today of the leaven in your lives, what do you know of this leaven? Do you recognize what it is, where it has come from, and how you are allowing it to not only influence your lives but to mandate everything about it? It starts out so subtly, but grows ever stronger of a force over you, I speak of the many, many ways and things that have your attention, and therefore have taken your focus off of me, is it your work? the lifestyle you have created for yourself and your family? Think about this for a moment, how do you spend your time? What things are you following that have been mandated by men? What has become your priority? Technology is fascinating, but how much of your day is spent absorbed with it? You know of which I speak, this leaven becomes a poison, but a poison that destroys slowly most times, and completely. Satan has used this tool as a weapon of warfare against my saints because he knew it would bring the downfall of many. Distractions come in many forms, but the end result is always the same, a numbness, an indifference, a lukewarm attitude toward me and the kingdom that I have offered you freely, I ask you again, what do your eyes feast on? Your ears. Think of all the things in your life that have nothing to do with me or my purpose here for you. They have made you idle and fruitless spiritually, and they are the reason you have become satiated with the things of this world and ignorant of the ways of my kingdom, you experience depression, loneliness, bitterness, anger, unforgiveness, confusion, and finally, apathy, how could you ever know my voice? But I tell you once more, I have opened a way unto you that brings joy, peace, forgiveness, love, and contentment. The way is so very simple. All I ask is that you spend time with me. I want to be your help in times like these, I want to be the answer to all of your life's troubles and concerns, I want to be the one you run to and ask to just sit with you, talk with you, listen to you, I want to be your everything. I want to hold you and tell you that you don't have to worry anymore, that all indeed will be well, I have that promise for you, if you would only embrace it and truly believe it with all of your heart and all of your soul. I am your Yeshua, and I love you more than anyone could. Come to me, and allow the kingdom to dwell inside of you, as this is how we created you to be, remember, in our image, read my word, in it you will find everything you need to move forward, and rid yourself of the leaven that has made you feel so heavy and burdened, there are no strings attached, and the invitation is open to all. Please, don't wait any longer, come to me now. What I am about to do on this planet will shake you to your core, the events spoken of by my prophets are here, my righteous whose feet are planted firmly in me and in my word, will stand, those who have not accepted my offer will now know they have chosen poorly, eternity would not be enough time for the wicked to mend their ways, I must, and I will act now, the sorrow will be great, certain places will cease to exist, you will be the only light most see in their despair my light must radiate through you, as a beacon for those who will be totally lost and despairing, remember months ago when I spoke of the sudden lies, the sudden lies are now upon you, wake up, be not afraid, your focus must not be on the physical, but on our relationship and your eternity with me in the spirit you will, pray for the people of Japan, pray for the souls of the lost, you are mine, and I have sealed you with the seal of my protection, you and your family and loved ones, you see how it seems the wind is blowing very hard, it will not take much of my wind of judgment to cause your infrastructure to crumble, you will be shocked at how vulnerable your nation really is, this sense of dread, and ominous events is very real, my armies have gathered, your tribulation has begun, my hand of judgment will be severe, I see many in your country preparing for a holiday, starting their celebration early, drinking and carrying on in the mire of their own destruction, when they should be on their faces and on their knees, begging me for mercy for the disgust that marks their filthy lives, how long must I warn? 
How long must I tell my people to prepare for my coming? How many watchmen have I sent to warn the people of the lateness of the hour? And to no avail. My words continued to fall on deaf ears. I have made a way for my righteous, my obedient ones, for a small few have heard my call and are watching and waiting for my return, I will soon rain fire in this country. I am seeing disasters of every kind, everywhere, and total societal breakdown you will burn America, you will burn. I have held back my hand of judgment long enough. You must, I repeat, you must have your spiritual houses in order this day, the hourglass is empty. Behold, I come. It was never my intention after I created you and this earth to have to destroy what I had made, in order to rid the earth of its evil, you were created in my image. It was perfect, and it was beautiful, I have much sorrow at what I am about to do once again, O oh my people, my people. Why is it that you have not chosen life over death? Is what Satan has dangled before you, grotesque sin, so much more attractive than what I, your Creator and your Father has offered you? I gave you paradise, I am a God of love, of peace, of joy, yet man continues to choose death. I have no choice but to again put a stop to the schemes of the enemy, but first, I must purify, it will be painful my child, but only for a time, hold fast, we will never leave you.